Her name was Gertrude Marie Stevens when she came to the villa. I think she was about five years old and that would have been probably in 1927. She was a really sweet person, very kind, very um, modest, but very talented. Uh, at some point we all found out that here at the Villa she was a uh, star on the basketball team and actually had her picture in the newspaper. She was the one who got to shoot, you know, back in that, back in the day, um, girl basketball was different. I think only two players on the team were allowed to shoot the ball, and the other three were defense only. And uh, my mom was the star shooter, and she could apparently she could hit the shots, and she scored lots of points. She was a very loving mother. She. She loved her time at the villa. She always spoke fondly of it. Um, her sister, Helen, two years older, uh, was here at the villa with her and was throughout mom's life um, a protector, uh, a big sister protector. <laughs> One of my favorite stories is my mother saying that Helen was something of a troublemaker and frequently wanted to run away, um, but always had to take my mother with her. And my mother was a, a goody two-shoes probably, never got into trouble, good student, I'm sure. And, uh, and Helen got into a fight of some kind and wanted to run away and, and my mother said, Helen, let's not run away this time. <laughs> but Helen um, got out two years ahead of mom, went down to Norfolk where they were uh, born and got married, bought a house, had a place for uh, my mother to stay when she graduated and looked out for her until the last day of her life. Helen was with her when my mother died. They were separated from their brother, Billy, who went to an orphanage uh, for boys. Uh, and so it was Helen and Trudy, and uh, she called her Choo Choo. So it was Helen and Choo Choo, and I guess Helen had that personality, you know, she, uh, became the first woman police officer in Norfolk history. Helen was tough. And uh, after that, I think she ran a trailer park, which was hard work. And my mother would go over every month to help Helen collect the rents. <laughs> so they were just a team. They were quite a team. I remember one time, uh, talking to my mother about the modern trend of eliminating orphanages and using foster care. And she said, um, to my surprise, I don't like that trend. That I was in foster care and it wasn't that great. And when I got to the villa, it was just wonderful. And I loved my time at the villa and I felt like, uh, I was treated better and got a better education and made more friends. But I did not appreciate how nice this place was until I came recently and saw it. And I, I didn't know that she lived in such beautiful surroundings. The church was so beautiful. Um, I did not realize the cottages were so nice, the individual um, living conditions, the, the uh, uh, the bedrooms that people had, the beautiful dining rooms. Uh, I, I will tell you, um, I remember how much she and my dad uh, loved each other. And I've always felt, my brothers and sisters will agree with this, that the best thing the two of them did for us was um, love each other so much. Because 
We never felt like they needed us to make them happy. They were very good parents, but they were happy to go off and do things themselves. Uh, my dad was a pretty good athlete too, so the two of them would often win uh, competitions at bowling and things like that. Um, and I uh, really liked that. Uh, she um, seemed to always be lucky. She would always win at these uh, little poker games, you know, nickel and penny poker games, or when she, she liked to go to the racetrack and she would always win at the racetrack. <laughs> Never any big money, but, you know. <laughs> Another thing that was uh, very uh, interesting to me um, is that uh, my mother paid all the bills, kept all the money. So Dad turned us, his paycheck over to her, and she gave him an allowance, and she kept uh, all the money, paid all the bills. And so this was uh, uh, long before the women's movement. And, and it, was, it was just a, a very natural thing in our house. Another story I remember sitting here, which made a profound impact on me. Um, I had uh, taken an extra cookie after dinner. I was probably seven years old or something, and my brother, Steve, who was two years younger, tattled on me. And I've got the cookie in my hand, and my hands are behind my back. And I'm lying to her, saying, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, Stephen's not telling you the truth, I don't have any cookie in my hand. And Stephen says, make him show his hands, make him show his hands. And for whatever reason, even though I'm sure she knew I was lying, um, she didn't make me show my hand. And she sent us both to bed. And I don't think I lied again after that the rest of my life. At least on anything important. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there, there was some genius about that, some wisdom about that, the way she did that with me. Maybe she learned it here at the Villa, I don't know. She loved being a mother. Um, and hell, we, we, she... We had five kids in the family, and, and Aunt Helen said that, that uh, Trudy would have had ten kids if she could have. Um, so my guess is uh, living at the villa made her love uh, having children. But at the same time, um, uh, she was, like I said, a very uh, modern woman. She wouldn't... When, my father and her met. He was in the Marines and she was working at the naval base during World War II. And, um, and I know she was a working wife uh, for a number of years. My dad was a Marine and he got into a fight down in Norfolk on Granby Street with some sailors and, um, and his punishment was to be shipped out to Okinawa to fight the Japanese. And uh, they hurried up and got married before he was shipped out. So they got married in September of 44. We grew up in Tidewater, Norfolk and Virginia Beach. Um, I moved to Richmond when I got out of law school and started to work as a lawyer. Um, my brother Steve lives in Hanover. Um, not too far from here, and he came up here for a job that he got. My sister Mary um, lives in Charlottesville, and she is an athletic director and coach at a high school in uh, Charlottesville, St. Anne's. Mm -hmm. um, my sister Kathy lives in North Carolina. Uh, on the, on the water, just south of the border, uh, Moyak. And my uh, brother Doug lives in Virginia Beach. He still lives in Virginia Beach. But all of us are in Virginia. My own children, by the way, uh, one of them now lives in Richmond, uh, Ben and his wife Alina and their two kids, which are two of our grandkids. Julia, the, the uh, 
uh, younger daughter, just got married and lives in New York City, and Claire, the older daughter, uh, first there's Ben, then there's Claire, then there's Julia. Claire lives in Philadelphia, and she's married and has uh, a child, Penelope. So we have three granddaughters. I really like the work you do today. I think people who have challenges in life need help. And uh, the Philly gave my mother help when that was the case with her. And you're still doing that. And I think that's what the gospel says to do. So, um, I'm very proud of what the Villa's doing today, and I'm um, very happy to be supportive. And I, I know my mother is proud of you too.